This is BasslerCast, tutorials for Mr. Basler's physics class. This video's topic, learning how to graph the first time in Logger Pro. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is label everything. The easiest way to label is double click to edit. Our first data set is what I want to label. I want to give it a more meaningful title. In this case, Balloon Car 1. Click OK. And you see it's relabeled. This will also apply then to the graph. Also, we have the x and y axes. We want to give those things labels also. Double click on the x. Let's make that time. The short name, letter T, and the units. Let's make that an S for seconds. Do the same thing for Y. Let's make Y position. The short name will be X. And the units, in this case, how about centimeters? Now if you notice on the graph, that both position and time show up in the places of X and Y. Let's make some changes to the graph. But first, we're going to need some data. Once the data is entered, you can see that the line begins to plot in the graph area. Now this graph is difficult to see because it's all squished down into one corner. A couple ways you can fix that. You can simply click on the axes and drag it up or drag it over. Another option is click the button up here, which is auto scale. That's one way. And if you want to see the endpoints of the graph, you can always drag these back down and drag them like so. You can also actually click the highest number on each axis and type in exactly what you're looking for. In this case 52 is the one I want to put and maybe over here I want to put 5.2. Down here I could even make these 0 and 0. And there's our graph. Now this graph needs a few adjustments. First thing is it's going to need a title. Again, if you want to make changes double click on it. You can see a lot of options here in the graph options. First thing I'm going to put in is the title. And voila, it shows up. Another thing we want to get rid of is these lines that connect dot to dot. Double click on the graph. Connect points is the thing you want to uncheck. That will make these lines go away. Point protectors will emphasize the data point. So you want to check that. And now you can see that there's a point for each data point. Let's say we change our mind. We don't want centimeters anymore. We want to change this to meters. Well, we have an option. Instead of converting, we can create a column that does the calculations for us. Go up to Data, New Calculated Column. In here, we're going to put Position again. Short name, still X. This time, a new unit, meters. We're going to take our existing centimeters, which is one of the variables, or one of the columns, position, and we're going to multiply that times point zero 0.01. Just remember, you can't have another column with the same name, so we'll change this to position 1. Click Done. And here's position 1 in meters. Now this is easy to get onto our graph. Simply click the word position, whatever is on the y-axis, and choose position 1. Might do a little rescaling, and there's our graph with meters versus time instead. What if you don't want the axis to read position 1, because that might imply there's a position 2? You can override that by clicking on it, choose more, and type in position parentheses, meter. This will override whatever variables are plugged in to the columns on the left. What if there was a second balloon car? Perhaps balloon car 2? Well, before we go and try to create all these new columns, we can simply go to Data, New Data Set. And now you can see, if we make this window bigger, that new columns have been created. You do have to go up and change the label because it just apply it just adds a 2 to the previous label. So balloon car 1 is now balloon car 1 2. So we'll double click in there and change that to balloon car 2. Click okay. 
and now we can enter the values for balloon car 2. You can see that this is getting somewhat messy because we have the situation where the graph and the data overlap. What I recommend is cutting the graph out and going to page, add page. A lot of options here. I usually just click OK. Then paste, and then control R, and I fill the page with the graph. You can browse through the pages and go back, control R, and fill this page with just the data. And that's it for our first tutorial using Logger Pro. We have another tutorial coming up, and that'll be involving the use of video analysis. But for now, thanks for listening.